Amazing. That's amazing. So to follow up on that, what options do we have when it comes to taking CBD? Like are the capsules, tinctures, can you tell us about the different forms that's available right. for us? That's, that's a great question. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, options in delivery, right? You have inhalation, you have oils, you have topicals, you have gummies, you have capsules, probably missing something there. Someone will come up with something new, but um, to start off the best, it's hard to recommend someone to vape and smoke a product, but as a medical professional, as a PA, but you know, it's the easiest way to dose is because you, you get, you get the highest amount of uh, absorption in the quickest amount of time. And so you kind of can feel the effects of it, but I, I recommend most of my clients and most of the people that I know usually go with the tinctures. They're hund- held under the tongue, which has got a very big venous plexus of blood supply that's able to absorb it um, and, and help get it into your bloodstream. And the effects take about 30 minutes or so to take effect. Same thing with edibles, sometimes a little bit longer, 30 to 45. A lot of people get into trouble when they do edibles of marijuana because they'll take a marijuana edible, right? Five, 10 milligrams. They're like, man, I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. And it'll be 45 minutes later, hour later, like, I don't feel anything. I'm going to eat something else. They eat it again. And then, you know, two hours later, you know, they both, you know, now 10 milligrams turns into 20 and it kicks in and they're super high because the metabolized breakdown of THC is actually a little bit more potent psychoactively when you eat it than when you smoke it. And so that's why the high lasts much longer. It's a little bit more intense uh, uh, than if you just smoke it because it's quick on, quick off. Um, topicals are great, are great, um, a great thing for like targeted therapy, like a lot of neck pain, or if you have uh, joint pain or elbow pain, rubbing a topical CBD cream on there to help target anti-inflammatory effects to that area is a great, is a great thing to back it up with an oil or a tincture. Um, gummies are a great delivery system. People like them because they taste good. They're easy to dose, right? Um, you know, one gummy could be a set mil- amount of milligrams. So it's easy for you to kind of know what you're getting. Sometimes people trip up on the oil dosages because there's levels and you got to know how much to put under your tongue and stuff like that. But I, I think in my opinion that the oils are the best. Um, but you know, every product has its, has its, you know, has its day in the sun. And I think some products people respond better than, than others. So. Is there any time where you recommend using two different options, maybe like a tincture and a, and a bone? Oh yeah. I, I deal with a lot of pain patients and a lot of pain clients. And so a lot of times I recommend an oil backed up with a topical, right. Um, you know, and I think it, they, together, the, together, the synergistic effect of those really, really benefit the patient and the client to use both of those at the same time, um, rather than just one. But, you know, if you had to, if I had to, if you, you know, if I had just one topic or one, one product to, to, to use, I would say the tincture is by far my go-to. And I think it's, um, probably the most ubiquitous in the cannabis and CBD industry is the tincture. Um, everyone knows it. everyone, you know, sees it. And then the gummies are pretty popular.